If you rang in the new year with a kiss, you took part in a tradition that's been millions of years in the making. Scientists now say the origins of kissing go back much further than most people think. CBS's Tina Krause has the story. Kiss me once. It's the classic romantic moment on the big screen and sometimes just as unforgettable in real life. Go on then. Tony and Christine Lewis still remember their first kiss in England. Oh yeah, it was quite romantic and 40 years later we're still here so that's pretty good. It turns out the tradition of locking lips isn't just for people. So if they're kissing after an argument. Evolutionary just, biologist Dr. Like Matilda really Brindle nice. says kissing is surprisingly common in the animal world. Gorillas, chimpanzees, bonobos and orangutans all seem to kiss at least some of the time. And this extends even past the primates as well. So you have animals like polar bears or prairie dogs and even albatrosses kiss each other. A new UK study suggests kissing dates back more than 21 million years and that Neanderthals, our ancient human relatives, probably did it too. Dr. Brindle says with no obvious survival or reproductive benefit, the shared habit remains an evolutionary mystery. It's really not a very hygienic behavior, is it? You're literally sharing your saliva with another individual. We know that we can transmit diseases that way. And that actually, to me, just makes it all the more compelling that this is an evolved trait. British researchers hope this intimate insight will spark more studies into why we and so many other animals kiss. Until then, couples say they'll keep puckering up, no matter what science says. Tina Krause, CBS News, London. Across Europe, cheek kissing mm -hmm. is a social ritual with more than one playbook. Right, some countries go in just for one kiss, others are two, <laughs> yep. some are even three. <laughs> that all depends on the region. Depends where you are, yeah.